All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another Company Heroes 2 replay cast. And today it is a one versus one on crossing in the woods between our blue U.S. forces player helping Brits, and up top we have our red Wehrmacht player helping hands. And why are these two always going at it? Well, I don't really know, but it always makes for a really good show. It is crossing in the woods. We have our victory point on the right side, center, and left side, along with our fuel point and munitions point. And a munitions point and a fuel point on the right side. Would you look at that? And rear echelon troops at the first territorial point. And going off to the right side along with the engineers for the Wehrmacht. Also going off to the right side. A couple riflemen queued up for the U.S. forces. MG-42 are already on its way out with a grenadier to follow. Pioneers decide to skip past that territory point, and looks like they're going right for that fuel point. It's always a good idea, as Wehrmacht. And going to back cap it with the MG-42 by the looks of it, or perhaps, yep, just gonna stay right there and cap that. Meanwhile, the U.S. forces, rear rational troops, capping the territory point and getting that munitions point first, whereas uh, munitions points is usually better off um, for the U.S. forces to get that first, whereas if you're the Wehrmacht, typically want to get the fuel first. But the munitions point is uh, pretty good for the U.S. forces, because you can always use the grenades, smoke, grab... Uh, BARs, bazookas, all that sort of good stuff. Rear echelon troops on the right side here trying to sneak around those pioneers, but uh, failed to do so with their big brown uniforms. Not very camouflaged. Pioneers in chase and did a little bit of damage, but not going to do too much there. And MG42 going to be moved up. Going to try and cover this victory point for now. Meanwhile, two riflemen taking the victory point over here. And going to fire at the Grenadiers moving on over to the munitions point, so a big battle going on over on the right side of the map. Nothing really happening too much on the left side. We have the rear echelon troops over there grabbing up at that, some uh, territory points, but uh, nothing too crazy here. So two rear echelon troops for the U.S. forces and two riflemen so far. Two grenadiers and that MG-42 for the Wehrmacht. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. And riflemen have moved all the way up to the territory point right in front of the Wehrmacht base. Going to battle it out here with the Grenadiers. Already took one of them out right off the bat with one volley. There are ten riflemen to uh, one squad of Grenadier. MG-42 moves up and suppresses one troop. Going to have to force them on out of there, that whole squad. And riflemen going to try and seek some cover here against the Grenadiers. And Grenadiers do not have cover. They're going to take quite a bit of damage here. Going to lose another man very soon. And if he loses another one, going to have to replace all that. Doesn't have too much manpower this early in the game. Already replacing here. Uh, is in range of that comp group headquarters. Now starting to lose some riflemen. Pretty low on health there. And MG42 has been moved up and is going to be taking this territory point. And it's going to be following these riflemen for now. And Grenadiers are doing just fine because they can reinforce right from the base there. But it is constant help enhance a little bit to do so. Not too big of a deal this early in the game. And now Rear Echelon is taking the munitions point. And we have some Rear Echelon over here taking the territory point. And now the Grenadier is inside the victory point. Going to be taking this back. Sniper now from the Wehrmacht coming onto the stage here. See if you can rack up quite a bit of kills with that or not. And now Rayfman moving up. Going to be taking this uh, territory point here. MG42 is... Hovering nearby, and now going to be setting up here. Does have the vision on these riflemen by the looks of it. Nope, just out of range there of the sight. MG42 not firing right now. Riflemen battling out with Pioneers here. Pioneers have really excellent cover, but not going to last too long with those short-range MP40s there. And riflemen get forced out of there. Got spotted there by the MG42. And Staper now moving up. Got one kill there on that squad. Uh, meanwhile, over on the left side, Rear Echelon Troops taking the victory point here. Going to be moving up on some Grenadiers. Two Rear Echelon squads here versus one Grenadier. Once some gets inside the house there, Garrison for cover. And Rear Echelon Troops going to be moving up right behind the Grenadiers here. And now Grenadiers are in big trouble here. Very low on health. Going to start losing men pretty quick. And now down to two. And we'll probably not lose another one. May lose another one there, but uh, we'll most likely get away scot-free. And now Grenadiers down here taking the territory point right from the U.S. forces there is a cutoff point. So cutting off the uh, territory on the left side here. So going to have to take that back immediately. We Lieutenant out on the field and a sector. rifleman along with him moving towards the Grenadiers here. Lieutenant should have no problem dealing with the Grenadiers. Moving up with that BAR. 
And already losing one man in that uh, Lieutenant Squad. Very unfortunate RNG there. And our munitions point has been captured by the U.S. forces. Meanwhile, on the right side, Rifleman taking the territory point. And Pioneer's backing off for now. So just one Rifleman over there taking some territory at the moment. And meanwhile, Sniper racking up some kills here. And retreated that Sniper, but I think it was a little bit unnecessary. That uh, M20 utility car was moving up. But I think he could have got away with just moving him back a little bit into cover uh, so that he could camouflage M20. Now I'm going to be moving around the backside of the MG42, forcing it to move here. And he doesn't want to get too close to these Grenadiers. going to get a Panzerfaust to the face should he get in range there. So far, no commander choice has been uh, taken by Helping Hands. Resources 47 and 29 to 37 and 23, so fairly even. A little bit less for Helping Hands right now for the Wehrmacht. Uh, 463 for the U.S. forces, 498 for the Wehrmacht. Over here, M20 now chasing down some Grenadiers, but again, has to remain distant. And then MG42 now poking out the window and going to start firing on this M20 soon. And there goes now eating some of that damage. It does have those side armor skirts, so taking quite a bit less damage, a little bit less penetration going on there. And sniper firing away, but not going to do too much there. Uh, meanwhile, on the right side, rear echelon troops, riflemen, and uh, rear echelon taking quite a bit of territory here. Forced these ones away, and I'm going to have to work on the victory point. One victory point each so far, and with a one neutral victory point on the map being taken by the U.S. forces. However, there's some Grenadiers moving up on them, which should be able to force those out of there, no problem. Rifleman taking the center victory point. And left side here, MG42 taking the munitions point. Got a couple troops moving up to the left side victory point. And I'm moving over to that left side fuel point as well, repairing up that M20 utility car. That crew has a bazooka. Always comes with a bazooka, pretty useful. And Lieutenant battling out here with a Grenadier squad, but losing miserably. Now a 222 coming, and the 222 should be able to chase it down and finish off this Lieutenant. But getting a little bit distracted there by the rear echelon squad, and that shouldn't be the one he is attacking. There he goes, now switches up that attack onto that Lieutenant, now trying to chase him down. And may be able to get him with some lucky RNG, but uh, looks like it's not going to happen. Now going to be moving up on these machine gun emplacements, so it's going to be taking some damage from them. That ambulance is actually pretty vulnerable. Could probably have gotten that ambulance, but unfortunately would have been taking damage from those machine gun emplacements. And the skunk car's armor, not quite enough to completely resist. Pop smoke there, a pretty wise idea to pop smoke so he cannot see that M20. And he has that bazooka and fires at the uh, 222 there and misses. M20 is damaged and not going to make it out of here. And pops looks like he popped another smoke. And they're going to pop out that crew there and fire the bazooka and hits successfully. And this 222 may go down, but it looks like it's going to get out of there as none of these riflemen here are a one-star veteran, so cannot use that anti-tank rifle grenade just yet. And now some riflemen here dealing with the 222 and the grenadiers. And that was a mistake there. Took some damage. Lost a couple lives there. Uh, meanwhile, on the right side, Grenadiers taking that fuel point back, so the Wehrmacht will own both fuel points very soon, and that's not going to be bad news uh, for uh, the U.S. forces. Right from an, er, rear echelon troops moving over to the uh, fuel point now, carrying that metal detector, or mine detector. I suppose it's the same thing, right? And uh, the MG42 setting up. Going to be firing away on these rear echelon, but retreats before he gets the chance to do so. And that M20 survives the day with some excellent play there. Popping that smoke so the 222 couldn't exactly fire on it. The enemy is taking our territory. And now two riflemen moving into the center victory point here. Going to force away those grenadiers. And we now have an AA half-track out on the field for the U.S. forces. And it's going to be bad news for the infantry of the Wehrmacht. And they did repair this uh, in a recent patch, or fix it rather. It used to be able to fire right over the front end of the car, and that is not intended. You actually have to pretty much drive it backwards wherever you want to drive it. And they did fix that, so now you actually have to drive it backwards. And now AA half track going to be firing at the 222 here. And 222 not going to be able to take this heat, and explodes there, loses that. Now M20 backing up here, and the AA half track also getting out of there for now. And now a pack 40 coming out, four helping hands to deal with that AA half-track and that M20 and two riflemen here moving right past those grenadiers well-hidden grenadiers 
one of them garrisoning inside the house and a total of three squads over here and the a fourth you count the rear echelon squad so quite a bit of forces on the left side gonna be taking this all over and meanwhile over here we have a neutral fuel point it looks like the rear echelon troops are moving towards that and now a half track just firing away at the troops as they try to move out of the base and now pack 40 is out on the map for the Vermok. Yeah, two grenadier squads hiding behind some logs there. Some excellent cover against the riflemen. Riflemen just move over to the side there so they can no longer fire on them. Not a big deal there. Eight kills so far on that sniper. And got to watch out for this M20 as the M20 is a scout car and technically has an increased accuracy bonus on that sniper. And two grenadiers taking some shots here from the M20 and the AA half track. Lots of damage coming down on them. Only one man left in that squad. But going to make it out of there just fine gonna cost them a pretty penny to replace all those unfortunately pack 40 now moving over to the left side gonna try and deal with this AA half track in the m20 and some pretty good skill of the m20 you don't really see that too often so it's a rare sight indeed to see the two m20 and oh and he popped smoke and that was very brilliant that that m uh, that pack 40 there was about to fire on it So a very squirrely M20 scout car we have this game. Left side fuel point now being taken by the U.S. forces. And the right side fuel point also taken as well. Meanwhile, rear echelon troops taking the territory point now on that far right side. And so far just reinforcing back at base here. And has plenty of money to reinforce these, so not too big of a deal. And just setting up a plan here of action to deal with this armor, if you want to call it armor, I suppose. Support vehicles. Gonna repair up that M20. Didn't take too much damage there, but might as well repair that up. And now lots of Wehrmacht moving over to the right side. Gonna take this back here. Should be able to force out the US forces. Remember this AA half track, gonna give them a lot of problems. And it's close enough in range now to, to receive a Panzerfaust, and looks like he's gonna do just that. And gonna strike that car and takes it below 75%. Now its engine is damaged. And here comes the Pack 40 coming around the corner. And Pack is ready to fire and hits the AA half track there down to a small sliver of health. May lose this. And M20 is gonna try and get in front of it and pop smoke, but it was a little bit too late. M20 took a shot instead, which was pretty decent there. Saved the AA half track for now. But now the M20 and the half track is heavily damaged. And our troops moving after these. And decrews that half track so that it is not auto attacked. And here goes the Pack 40. Gonna try and fire at that half track and it totally misses. Just strikes the ground there. Those guys need to go back to training and strikes the ground again. And yeah, there is sort of a dip there. And loses that half track. Now a Puma out on the field and gonna try and deal with that M20. And it's definitely exactly what he needed right now is a Puma. Nice, quick, lightly armored, but uh, a decent gun. And easily able to take out the A half track in the M20. And now uh, lots of damage moving in on the Wehrmacht here. Two riflemen moving forward, all with BARs. And MG42 has been dropped there. And let's we'll see if he's going to pick this up. And looks like he's going to do just that. And going to have to run off with it as soon as possible, though. Losing men quick here. And there he goes with the retreat, but he may actually decrew this with that Puma. And he's going to try and chase him down. And I'm going to retreat all these units out of here for now. Meanwhile, on the left side, looks like the U.S. forces own pretty much everything on the map right now. And soon to own uh, all three victory points. Uh, vehicle crew now without a vehicle. Poor guys. They don't know what to do anymore. They just have leather helmets. Not going to not gonna stop the flak from hitting their skulls. However, he's getting Thompson submachine guns, though, and those are super good. A large Fairmock force on the right side here. Looks like it's a, a minefield perhaps is going down. An S minefield going down right there. And vehicle crew now going to be running away from two Grenadier squads. Pack 40 and the Puma moving over to the right side. Three victory points for the U.S. forces right now. And going to be taking one back with the Grenadier squad now. And repairing up that M20, but it's not going to be too useful now, along with, well, with that Puma out. Going to need some armor or some anti-armor uh, of his own. 
to take out that Puma. Although you could use Bazookas, that could do the trick as it's pretty lightly armored. Even uh, as much as anti-tank rifle grenades would do the trick, but it would take quite a bit of munitions to do that. It would be pretty inefficient. Pioneers and rear echelon troops fighting over the center victory point there. And a big mass exodus here of Wehrmacht all the way back to base. And Pack 40 is caught way out. And that will decrew this almost certainly. And there goes the decrews the Pack 40. And should we pick up that Pack 40 and use it against the Puma? That would certainly be a very opportune Pack 40. And looks like he's going to do just that. He's going to crew it here with some riflemen and retreat that remaining one rifleman. Pioneer going to be taking this victory point. And Sniper now firing away at some troops here. And looks like just one kill on that Sniper. And we have another Sniper here. 12 kills, the original Sniper. And I'll take back the victory points here on the right side. And that right side fuel point. And now in a little bit of trouble here for the Wehrmacht. As that Pack 40 going to provide some anti-tank capabilities for the U.S. forces right now. And Puba almost took a shot there. It came right in the range and just barely backed out in time. And Pack 40 going to try and get out of there now. Panzer Grenadiers moving at it. And going to try and decrew this. And they may decrew this and take it back for the Wehrmacht. And if they can take this out, uh, that'll certainly take a little bit of pressure off the Wehrmacht. And that Puma will be in safe. Will be safe for a little while. Right, I'm going to recrew that Pack 40. Send that other guy on home. And I'm taking that sector. left side munitions point for the Wehrmacht. U.S. force is going to be taking that center. Now bringing up that Pack 40 towards that Puma. However, it's moving right towards snipers. And they're just going to have some fun with this. And some Grenadiers also going to be firing away on it. And it looks like some troops ran over that minefield. And I, I, unfortunately, I missed that. But uh, as you can see, it looks like two were lost. Grenadiers and Rifleman going at it point blank here. BAR versus Light MG42. Fortunately, the Rifleman have to run away with two snipers backing them up. M20 harassing the left side here forces the Pioneers away. Now the rear echelon troops going to take back that munitions point for the U.S. forces. And two snipers now moving out here. And going to fire away on these Rifleman squad. Possibly going to take out two out of that squad. Takes out two there. And I'm going to force away these snipers. And he may actually have to retreat here. See, we're getting pretty close. Nope. The riflemen retreat first. And now a Panzer IV command take out on the field. Pan M20 now moving forward. And unfortunately, M20 is way outclassed here. And it's destroyed. Now moving forward towards the Wehrmacht. Panzer IV and the Puma now going to provide a lot of issues to the U.S. forces. We do have an M10 Wolverine out on the field to try and deal with these. So we'll see who can beat who. And moving towards Veramok base. And there is that minefield. And he hits that minefield there. And doesn't actually take out any uh, of that vehicle group. And now moving forward at the Panzer IV. And Panzer IV command take now in a little bit of trouble here. M10 going to fire again. But does not destroy it. Here comes the Puma. Puma fires but misses. Uh, left side has been retaken there by the U.S. forces. That munitions point back in the hands of the U.S. forces. Now I'm going to put some razor wire up here to block uh, any troops from coming in that way. And Pack 40 now being brought off again. This Pack 40 has fallen out of the U.S. forces' hands multiple times. And the Wehrmacht. Pioneers ready for assignment. MG42 firing away at the Wehrmacht. However, that sniper is just going to be chipping away at that MG42 crew, no problem. And Panzer Grenadier is now trying to move forward at that victory point. And here comes up the second sniper. And may not make it out of there. Gets uh, decrewed there by the two snipers. You know, big old U.S. forces blob moving up to the right side here and going right after the snipers. Now going after the Panzer Grenadier there. And just one man in that squad make it... Uh, taken out there whole squad lost and Panzer IV moving up but got to move back a little bit here doesn't have too many bazookas only has one bazooka so it's not too uh, not too much of a problem here but does have anti-tank rifle grenades and has plenty of munitions to use that M10 now moving forward 
but does not move forward enough to actually hit uh, either of these uh, tanks. And he needs to repair both of these up as they're pretty damaged. Both of them just about half health. Panzer IV a little bit above it. Better Deers have taken that right side fuel point there and going to force the retreat here real soon. However, he's going to have to run right past all these troops when he retreats. Yeah, going to try and run over some of these Grenadiers. Runs over two of them. Now Grenadiers trying to hide behind the wood stacks there. The logs. But I don't think it's going to last too long. Uh-oh. And see how long he lasts. And he tries to retreat. Going to try and retreat past all these. And does not make it, unfortunately. Sniper firing at the M10 tank destroyer there. They're now going to be moving up on that Pack 40. You're going to try and decrew that. And if both can fire at the same time there, now decrews that uh, Pack 40. One of them runs off. So it gets kind of lucky with the RNG there. Two forty now coming down right here and moving out all those troops in time. Two pioneers moving up. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that. And one of them hits way off target. And the two snipers very, very low. One of them lost. And it was the second sniper that was lost there, I believe. And helping hands GG's out. Leaving the US forces the winner in a pretty good game. So it was pretty even, but uh, unfortunately just couldn't take couldn't take those victory points from the U.S. forces. The U.S. forces right now a little bit strong, I would say. With all of the riflemen, riflemen are pretty good right now in the game. I would say it's kind of a somewhat meta. I've seen some OKW complaining about uh, U.S. forces and the riflemen. Particularly if you blob them a little bit, but uh, we don't blob, do we? Nah, nobody blobs, right? But I hope you guys enjoyed this replay, and I will see you guys next time.